What is up squad, it's Pino E here, and not a whole lot went down today, but there's still some stuff I need to cover, so let's get into it, let's not waste any time, here's your sneaker news for November 14th. First things first, and don't forget that the Shattered Backboard Away and the Black Toes are restocking tomorrow morning on Footlocker.com. This is a .com exclusive, so they won't be available in stores, and it all goes down at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern. Good luck in everyone's battle against the bots. Kicking off with Reebok, here's a detailed look at the Cameron Reebok Ventilator Fleabok 2. For everyone old enough to know Cameron, you know this dude loved his pink clothes and furs, so it's no surprise that this shoe comes dressed in a pink pigskin suede upper with camouflage detailing all around the shoe and laces. To complete this one off, the shoe has dipset branding on the heel, insole, and it comes in a special box. These drop quietly today on Bates' website, and there's still a few sizes left, so if you want them, head on over and retail is $160. Stay tuned for more info if these end up releasing elsewhere. We got another question on the way, and this time it's with Villa. Continuing with the 20th anniversary of the question model, the Villa Reebok Question Liberty is dressed in a metallic copper colorway with hits of gold branding, red stitching around the toe box, and a white mid and gum bottom. This shoe is available on November 21st, and retail price is $170. Okay, I'm going to age myself a little bit here, but if you were around when Snoop dropped the Doggy Style album, you might remember just how popular the Adidas Gazelle model was. Recently, Adidas has been putting some marketing behind the shoe, and the next couple pairs to release are the Adidas Gazelle Color Pack. The pack consists of a black and white pair with suede uppers, leather heel tabs and tongues, and the three stripes are colored in blue, pink, and yellow. The date hasn't been confirmed just yet, but these are dropping in December. I'm not a fan of the tubular model, I'm still not a fan when the tubular gets prime knit, and I'm definitely not a fan when it comes dressed in this colorway. The Adidas Tubular Prime Knit Tech Steel features almost a completely blue upper built in Adidas Prime Knit, but it does have minor hits of black throughout, and it sits on top of the tubular sole. If you're crazy enough to like this shoe, then you can find it arriving now to select Adidas Originals retailers. The Adidas NMD R2 got a release date, and these next two pairs will be the shoe's debut colorways. Both shoes will come with a full prime knit upper and what Adidas is calling the shadow noise motif. They will have suede heel patches and branded heel tabs and contain tonal three stripes. Now, I'm not sure if this is a temporary or permanent change, but both pairs drop the EVA inserts from the full white boost mid and sit on tonal outsoles. Both pairs drop on December 3rd at select Adidas Originals retail locations, but I want to know what you think about this new look, mainly the prime knit pattern. Are you a fan? Let me know in the comments below. It's Nike's turn next, and this first one up is for the ladies. The Nike Women's Paisley Pack includes the Nike Hirachi, Air Force One Low, and Air Max BW silhouettes, and each pair comes in either a black or maroon colorway and features an embossed paisley pattern on their uppers. The outsole on the black pairs is a matching black, and the maroons each come with a gum bottom. The pack releases on November 18th, and the prices for the Arachis are $130, the Air Force Ones are $110, and the Air Max BW $150. The Nike Air CB34 is making its return and it's coming in a triple white colorway. Pretty basic shoe, it's white, it's leather, and it features some mesh detailing on the tongue and ankle collar. There's no word yet on the exact release date, but they are dropping soon and retail is $140. And next up, we got the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Nike officially shared the release date and pricing and the shoe is dropping on December 1st and the retail price is $720 and not $1,000. So, 720 is better than 1000 but it's still not good enough to make me want to drop that kind of money on a shoe that could tie itself. Because here's the thing, the shoe is ugly. I'm not saying that because the price, I always thought it was ugly. Well, it, it's not ugly, but it's nothing special. And the only reason I wanted it was because the coolness factor of the tech tying the shoe for me. But the cool tech doesn't equal to the amount they want. I can't say I know everything about the shoe, but there's a heel sensor and a motor, so I don't know how the price is justified. I'm sure there's a reason, but it's not good enough to make me want to buy them. If you're a fan of the Jordan CP310, then take note that the Space Jam version of the model just dropped. The shoe is dressed in black with hits of Concord and white, hits of speckling, and an icy outsole. Check your local Jordan brand retailers for availability, and these will cost you $125. I have five pictures to show you of the Jordan Westbrook 0.2 Vincetta 10, and each picture will be about seven seconds long. 
so I could spend the next 35 seconds saying how ugly this fuzzy Vanketa colored suede looks, but I won't. I'll just spend 10. The rest of the time will be me talking and wasting time so we could get through this together. However, if you like the fuzzy suede, then buy them today at select Jordan brand retailers. Or don't. Either way, don't care. And last stuff for today are these GS Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year. This pair is dressed in white and red with the Asian lettering 12 on the tongue and the same wood detailing found on the men's pair. Like the men's, these will drop in January, but there's no word if they'll be available in North America, so stay tuned. I'm personally done with 12s for a long time, so I'm good to pass either way. And that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.